1998, the institutions got together and we realized, we appreciated the fact that the NMR community in structural biology was extremely strong, but the community lacked the latest generation instruments. No one in New York at the time, that was an 800 megahertz, and no one in New York had an 800 megahertz NMR. So we joined forces to create a facility, a shared facility, where we would have multiple 800 NMRs that all the institutions, all the faculty from the institutions could, could use and access. And we found a site here, it was offered to us by City University of New York, which was sufficiently far from subway lines and it was directly on bedrock, so it was a perfect site for siting NMRs. And we opened for business in 2002 with four, these four magnets, three at 800 and one at 750, which was, is for solid state. After the NMR, we included X-ray crystallography with the beam lines at Brookhaven at NSLS, the National Synchrotron Light Source. Then we added, thanks to a major grant from the state, cryo-electron microscopy, and also thanks to some grants, a pretty serious protein production facility. Basically, these are a bunch of different techniques for being able to create three-dimensional images of proteins. And you need to, you want that information so you can see the active site on the protein, which is where any interaction is going to take place. So this is, this is the new uh, dual beam FIB SEM microscope. Um, it's a scanning electron microscope, but it also has a, a second beam, which is a gallium ion beam, which can be used for milling. And so what, what you can do is if you have a, a, a section of cells or a section of tissue embedded in plastic, um, you, can, you can mill through the plastic and, and view the, the section in 3D, sort of like slicing a slice of a, a loaf of bread and viewing the individual slices as it slices through. We do offer classes in cryo-electron microscopy every year. So our staff will work with people who have projects and sit in front of the microscope and collect the data and then help to interpret the data. We're happy that lots of Rockefeller people have used the New York Structural Biology Center. In fact, one of Mike Routes' postdocs is permanently based here, working in the cryo-EM facility. Um, certainly Seth Darst works, has done a lot of work here. Rod McKinnon was part of our first uh, NICOMPS effort, that's the membrane protein uh, project. We're the most advanced facility in this stuff, in NMR, now in the Western Hemisphere. We're a major facility for NMR.